<clears throat> hey guys, it's Rick Pierce, and welcome back to my FIFA 15 Liverpool Grimo, where last time I left off, I he played Kings against um, Newcastle in the Capital One Cup, and I played Manchester United, and per usual, you know, standard stuff, I beat him, because I don't lose to Man United, it's, it's just what I do. It's just what I do. Simple as that, really. Um, yeah. I don't lose my guys. Yeah. Yeah. Never have, never will. At least not as a little bit, man. So, yeah. First game of this episode is again in Spartak Moss. Go oh, which is a uh, special match for me because, as you guys know, I did a Spartak Moss go career mode on stream not that long ago. So, yeah, it's good to see. In fact, there are two teams in this group, in my group, that I did a career mode with on this FIFA. Uh, for secondary reasons, and the other is in from Milan, so. Hmm. If I had only been Dortmund, then. If only I had been Dortmund in my, uh. My. In my, uh. German career mode. Um, okay, not sure how that works. Anyway, the main goal is to, of course, win, but a win here would probably make it impossible for Spartak Moscow to get pulled through. Wait, is that not a penalty? Okay, fair enough. And that was the worst cross ever. Straight at the freaking goalkeeper. Not only will it, a win here for me more than likely prevent Sparta Mask from progressing, it will also uh, ensure me. He has spot in the. Uh, it will see me he qualify for the next round of the uh, Champions League. And if the results go my way, I could even win the group because if Milan and Dortmund were to draw, which, you know, could be a realistic, um, could be, could happen, really could, then um, I'd win the group because they wouldn't be able to catch me, even with two games left. Especially. You know that I'm one nothing off. Killing in moment. What a he shot. Gave the keeper little, if any chance at all. That was that, that, that was just brilliant. But then again, what can you expect from Belgian? They're they're always doing cool shit like that. Seriously, you know, will the talent Belgium have, and will have in the future, it'll probably be only a matter of time before uh, Belgium win a World Cup, or at least the Euros. They'll definitely win the Euros, if not the World Cup eventually.
Yeah. Except for Belgium. Really. And, um, just as I've probably uh, talked about this before, but, you know, not the best memory in the world. Anyway, fun. Brandy. Brand it. Ready song. Wow! Hello? Do you see your assistant fly gay? Yeah, book this. Cunt. Yeah, thank you. Jesus Christ. Referees have really been fucking dicking me as of late. As you guys may or may not know, but well, I recently started a a road to glory like career mode just just for fun off screen I was planning to stream it but something went wrong with the stream and you know it's like okay um well that fucked up didn't it so yeah it fucked up and yeah The goal of the Karamo is to get Birmingham from the Championship to winning the Champions League in three seasons. I've already gotten them promoted as champions of the Championship by absolute miles. You no, know, I struggled at times, you know, actually during lost a couple of games today again it is it was just for fun it's just for fun but um what's going to be a bigger challenge is winning the freaking Premier League with Birmingham that, that that's going to be the real challenge here uh, um, So, yeah. Good at our way by Chambers. Go. Go, Luciano. Go. 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 The defensive freaking disappeared. In. Oh, wow. That's didn't go as planned. Hey son. Moreno! He's outside! I thought he was out, I thought he was gonna be flagged offside. He but no Luciano he scored. It's it's offside somehow. Poor defending by Smart Attack Moscow. Oh well obviously. He it's two 0 Thank you very much. I will take a easy progression to the next round. Easier the better, though, really. Burning. Oh, damn. Didn't make it. Wait, that was spectacularly shit. It's mine as well. Thank you. And oh, oh, in off the post, it is 3 0. Oh, I am through to the next to the knockout stages with two games. Spare standard stuff, really.
three now, and the uh, Russian team will be going home. More than likely, they'll be out of the running for the Champions League spot. Then again, they could still get the Europa League spot, yeah. but they'd have to hope that they'd have to win their last two games. But the way they're playing this match, it's not looking likely. Unfortunately, yeah. It's clear how much they miss me. Unfortunately, I won't be going back to Russia next FIFA. So, um, the the way to at least FIFA the seventeen before I consider going back to Russia. And then, and by then, who knows? Who knows what will happen? Oh, Jesus Christ! Wow. If that player had been more alert, it would have been 3-1. I would have lost my plain cheat. The, he, he, just, he just didn't seem to give a shit. So, uh, good for me, I guess. Luciano, and there is the hat trick. Four nil. Think I won't. I won't score anymore. Four nil is a pretty good contra con yeah. convincing victory. Nah, uh, yeah. So. Kind of embarrassing as well, what if you think about it. So, uh, while it may be a bit boring, I'm just going to play down the play clock till 90 minutes are up. It should go pretty fast because I have the thing set to 4 minutes because it's just so much easier. I mean, like, have you guys ever played a match when the with the thing time setting thing to twenty minutes? It takes forever to get to one match. You know, you it literally feels like you played twenty matches in one, and you're like, what? Why did that take so long? Granted, it's good if. You prefer a, or a slow pace game, and the I prefer the game and to finish. Should reasonable all time. I don't have all day to sit here and commentate as much as I wish I did. Well, I do, but I don't want to sit here all day. I've other things to do. Let's see. Inter Milan have beaten Borussia Dortmund. Hmm. So spot that Moscow could still get the Europa League spot ahead of Dortmund. But uh, yeah. All I know is I'm definitely going to be going through to the uh, next stage of the show. League, the knockout stages, and uh, yeah, it looks like Inter Milan are almost certain to be joining me. And again, there is two games left for them, and they're only three points ahead of, of um, a British Dortmund, and I still have to play them both, so I guess it's in my hand. <laughs> Funny how that works out, isn't it? I couldn't give a shit, and yeah, it's probably in my hands. Chances are good, it's in my hands. So, uh, yeah. So, there's that. Next is a game against the Gunners. Oh, no.
who could be close to signing Karim Benzema in real life, which, if they do, they will definitely charge for the league title. I'm just going to say that now. I mean, they had a great season last season. They've made some really good signings. I mean, why wouldn't they be up there charging with no, it's definitely going to be at least a three-horse race between Chelsea, Arsenal, and Man United. Next season, whether Liverpool and Man City really provide it, ch- re- want to join in. Uh, for to be honest, for Liverpool, it's just down to how we perform. You know, if we get if we perform good and get good results, you know, we'll be challenging. Hopefully. Not for the title, of course. We just want top four. We'll, we'll get to that. That's our first priority. We don't give a shit about the title right now. Top four is our priority, but for City, you know, maybe, maybe the they think, okay, I'm strong enough to challenge for the title. I mean, we were, uh, I don't remember. Did Arsenal finish second or did City finish second? I know United finished fourth. Them. I just like while trying to think. Um, he hit the ball quite gently. He actually make it made it fucking work. I thought I'd blow it wide or something like that. Hmm. Anyway, I I I don't know about C. It'll it'll depend. You know, if 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 they can keep Sergio Aguero. Fit all season, they'll be challenging as well. That's probably why C didn't put up a better challenge this season, is because Aguero got injured a lot. And while the same could be said for Liverpool, you know, there is with Daniel Sturridge's injuries, you know, at least the rest of Man City's team actually put in a performance. The rest of Liverpool's team last season. Uh, well, they didn't do shit. Let's be honest, we had, what, one or two good performances? And that was, uh, that was about it, really. And we scraped a few wins here and there. The most part, we had a terrible season. I can't admit it. Because it's true. So yeah, chances are, chances are good. It will depend on if Aguero is fit. If he's fit, City will definitely be challenging for the title. Obviously, they'll be challenging anyway. But whether they mount a good challenge or a a measly challenge, you know, a challenge you know, don't don't really take the heart. You know, if if I'm Chelsea right now, I'm thinking, okay, Man United are probably going to be our biggest challenge, followed closely by Arsenal, depending on whether they get Benzema or not. If they do, crap, because if if there's anything can be said about about um, Arsene Wenger, not only. If he gets a good striker, especially a French striker, hell, he could turn Benzema to the next Henri if he wanted. You know, who knows? Maybe he could. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not saying Benzema is this as the uh, 
comes to footballing skill of Henri, you know, he's a good player, but is he on the level? No. I'm sure Arsenal will say he he could be. He could be. You know, he definitely could be. I mean, you know, I think he's outshone at Real Madrid. You know, he scores goals every now and again, but mostly who gets Real Madrid's goals is Ronaldo. And to be honest, it's only a matter of time before Real Madrid say, okay, Ronaldo, you're going to be playing a striker now. Uh, Benzema, uh, we don't need you anymore. So uh, feel free to leave. And then Benzema's like, the window closed. What the hell happened? Um, blame, blame the, blame the owners. That's that's pretty much. I personally would. I think Benzema would do well at Arsenal because you know the history of French players is, is uh pretty proven. You know. And that, the freaking Benzema's more recognised than Henri was when Arsenal signed him. I mean, Henri was how Henri was a winger when Arsenal signed him. It only he Wenger moved in the striker. So I can imagine Wenger going to Henri he won't, when on the day he signed. Like, okay, I know you're a winger, but I'm gonna play you striker because I think you're going to be better there. And then. Uh, really like, okay, fair enough. Although, that would, they were both been talking in French accents and Henri Wirth said the words, it's, I'm going to screw Ireland over at some point. And Venga would just smile and nod, not sure what Henri was talking about, but saying, okay, fair enough. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's probably how the conversation went when Arsenal signed Henri. Would Benzema be the same situation? Obviously, Benzema's not a winger. Maybe he was earlier in his career, I don't know. Uh, he's a striker. Huh? Would he be an Henri-esque striker for Arsenal? He could be. He definitely could be. He and, uh, well, it depends on whether they get him or not. All the Arsenal fans I know say they need a striker. And they're damn right they do. I mean, who's their strikers? On Olivier Giroud and Danny Welbeck. Uh, right. Uh, Olivier Giroud is a terrible striker. I mean, you know, let's be honest here. Even Arsenal fans don't like Olivier Giroud, and Danny Welbeck was just, is just Danny Welbeck, he's just there, just kind of there. He doesn't really accomplish anything, he doesn't, he doesn't make, he's, he's not, uh, he's not one of those strikers that's going to make teams shit themselves when they play Arsenal, but like, a team that's about to play Arsenal, well since they signed Welbeck, is like, so, who do we have to mark for Arsenal's, uh, from the Arsenal's attack? Will they be playing Giroud or Welbeck? Or both? And then someone goes, nah. The, 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 the most attacking player is probably Santi Cazola. Uh, or Theo Walcott. Theo Walcott's probably a better striker than well we can freaking uh and uh Giroux. And then the original guy goes, okay, we'll mark uh we'll mark Walcott and Cazola then. Uh, yeah, that's how people prepare the race Arsenal. They don't even consider Welbeck or Giroud. 
And, and Arsenal fans, they know this. They know this, you know. Every Arsenal fan I know is like, Drew, not good enough, and well back, why the fuck did they sign him? Granted, he was a better sign than, um, than Mario Balotelli, but a one-legged cancer patient would have been better than Mario Balotelli. Oh, I would have rather have Jonas Gutierrez than Mario Balotelli. At least Gutierrez can actually score a goal. You know, Balotelli, he he takes some fucking notes. Okay. But yeah. Then again, maybe I'm, maybe I'm, maybe I'm not thinking it's true. But what do you guys think? think? Think any Arsenal fans in the comment section below? Please let me know. Oh. Oh, Benzema, yes and no, could he be the underlevel of Thierry Henry? If given time and enough gameplay, well, yeah, enough game time, enough chances, is could Arsenal make Benzema into the new Henry? No. Will we one day see a Karim Benzema statue outside the Emirates? And will Karim Benzema eventually he go to the MLS? And during his France game, can ball, ball to cheat Ireland out of the World Cup? Hopefully not that last part, but no. everything else fantastic, good for you. But the last part, don't do it. Nice. So uh, I'll be I'll be interested it to hear from the Arsenal fans in the comments section below. Well. The ones I know are definitely gonna be. In, a, in agreement, although I don't know if they have a YouTube channel to actually comment. They might, one of them might have a Gmail account, so. Hmm. Anyway, that's, that's not, that's not relevant. What's relevant is, um, so, um, Um, I don't know what to say about this. It's 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 five nil. What the hell happened? I wasn't even paying attention and then freaking five nothing up. I mean, of course I was paying attention. Uh, Arsenal just went up to the game today. Those those players, yeah, they're not really there. Shut up here, little bitch. I can't wait for January when I sell that little prick. I wonder if City will pay you another 49 million for, uh, for this dumb little cunt. I think it's probably worth more than 9 million, 88 rated. So I think he's 89.
one must wonder. Um, anyway, uh, all that aside, um, yeah, Arsenal fans, let me know in the comment section below. Can Wenger make Ig Benzema into an honorary esque player if he signs for you? And uh, also, in the comment section below, let me know how many teams will be challenging the Premier League title. Will it be three, like I said? Will City get involved? Could Liverpool provide an unlikely challenge? I'm going to say a no for Liverpool. City will wait. We'll have to see. But um, definitely Liverpool, absolutely fucking not. <laughs> and this is a Liverpool player. Uh, fan saying that, but yeah, no way, we're not going to win the top Top four is our priority, can we get it? We'll just have to wait and see. As for the title, definitely see, he, he is a maybe, Chelsea, Arsenal and United, well, Arsenal if they sign Benzema, although, they could provide a semi-decent challenge if they he don't sign Benzema. But if they sign Benzema, they'll definitely push Chelsea and United to the limit. Should be a fun season. Hopefully, Liverpool can make it even better by getting at least fourth. I know Arsenal will be pretty crushed to see us take their covenant spot. But since he finished higher last season, I'm sure you can deal. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section below about whether Benzema could be an Henri S player and who will be challenging for the title. Oh, well, let's be over, be realistic. So, my fellow Liverpool fans, let's let's not go crazy. You know, don't get your special expen expen yeah yeah. Don't, don't shoot too high, you know. That don't don't expect things that aren't gonna fucking happen, you know. And yeah, like.